Hi folks, uh, right, um, watercolour, uh, no idea what I'm going to do, I'll just start and, uh, I don't know, um, so many ideas but uh, to keep it simple for presentation, I don't want to, in 20, 20, 25 minutes uh, try and do a masterpiece which uh, doesn't really work. So I'm using the Fabriano 130 pound studio paper. It's very good for lifting out. And that I think is because the paper's quite heavily sized and it doesn't uh, let the oil, or not let the water cut out or the water soak in for a while. That means you can scrape the paint and lift it almost back to the white, which is good. That's what you want. Okay, so let's uh, put a bit of a sienna. A bit more water. So for, let's keep the light central again. Get some light, light red. Sunset. I think it's that the hike is starting to uh, to open up. I'm going to do some nice, nice blue ultramarine. Ooh, look, I'm smashing. Oh, we're just coming in with that. Nice. A bit dark over that red. It's exploiting what certain papers do, really. We know it's going to uh, go to cauliflower if you're not careful. Right? So just a clean the brush, get these bits out. Right, okay. The paint's grey, I think. In with that, just to make it a bit darker. The paper's about 20 degrees angle. And we're going to come across here with a bit of water, I think. Okay, let's try a bit of burnt umber in that. I don't use burnt umber very often. It's one of the seven main colours of all the eight I have. I've got nine on here because I've got a, a different uh, a different Payne's grey. That that's got a blue. It's almost like a deep Prussian blue. I can't say I really like it, but I'm not used to it. You get used to your colours. And only really change them if you want a special effect. Otherwise, the more colours you have out, the uh, more your your kind of colours confusion. So it's a basic Ron Ransom palette, really. All right, let's just uh, stretch it tight up again, and then we'll see. Put a bit of a put a bit of something in. Small hake, the medium romance and hake. Here we have a bit of, bit of blue, a bit of red, and gets in some some nice background colour. We can do a bit of this here, but then. I have done a lot of these over the years. Try and get your horizon straight, that's very important. You can use a pencil if you wish. But you don't want the pencil really to show through. Right, okay, we'll give that a dry and then we can, we can go in with the main painting. I've got our sky in.
Right, okay, that's it. Oh, sorry, I should have muted you then. Oh, oh, no, sorry about that. Let's just boot tight again. And right, okay, so we'll get the small hake. I'm using hake, a bit of colour, a bit of darker colour. Gives us plenty of scope for lifting out. Well, it's a bit of burnt sienna, a bit of Payne's grey, and I just dump that in here over that wet. We, we can scrape that when it's wet, so we'll keep that to a bit of reflection there. Okay, let's get a bit of warm on here. And some, some trees, there's some, ooh, all my yellow's disintegrated, let's have some more of that. It's dried out, so I haven't used it for a few days. Right, let's just throw them away. Got some gambos here, that's a gorgeous yellow. I used to use it a lot. I used to use the art, the Windsor and Houston artist quality when I was rich. Or when I was working. I can afford. There's a retiree. Need to be a bit careful. Oh, that's nice to squeeze a little of that out. It is an absolutely lovely yellow. There we are. Can you see that? Down here. So, a bit, a bit of this, bit of that. A bit of a nice green. Just making this up as I go along. It just adds so much to it. Over that brown, or the burnt sienna. Right, let's do a bit of scraping on that. A few, few rocks. It's a bit dry. Summer's coming with a, with a bang in the UK or in the in of London. Ah, just create that impression. Of, of detail, impression of detail. Right, okay. Now we're going to do something the other side. Just bring it all together. All right, let's go in with a similar colour. It's a slightly warmer. Yeah, come across there. There's a nice warm rich colours in the foreground. Paint's grey. Each paint's grey paint's great to give that light when you scrape back. Ah, oh, get some green in there. Paint's grey. A lot of activity in the gardens. Let's 
some lead over there. Right, scrape. Of reflection. Oh, so easy, but very easy to overdo. Oh, just that illusion. Yeah, what I'm doing here is uh, just adding a bit of, bit of yellow over the top of that. You need yellow. You can use it as a sort of impasto. Okay. Oh, almost sort of and then we can put some there that's dry yeah the weather has really uh, changed it's about 25 degrees now which is very warm for well flaming june we call it after a lousy may this was beautiful last year but it's uh, well it's come back so we'll enjoy it while we can i shall be cooking outside later in a barbecue i'm painting my fingers on this one Right, okay, so we need really a bit of a little bit of detail, well, illusion of detail in the back now. So, we'll have a bit of that Payne's Grey, that's a blue, blue cast, but Payne's Grey, not sure I like it really, but. Um, uh, Wash. This is a chance to straighten your horizons. I don't care, got a weak bit of that. And just drag it across. It's a little bit darker than that. Right, that's cut it hasn't gone through. I didn't put a lot of it in there. I will, uh, I'll dry it off. Um, so remember to move the new tube. Right. Okay, now we'll have a dry brush showing some of that uh, darker colour. Put any loose colours from the hairs. Be careful not to take the colour off underneath. The blue. Sure about that. I should have, shouldn't have done that. Let's just take a bit, bit of that colour out. Right. I was trying trying to show that bit there, but it didn't really work. Okay. Let's put it on the mount and see see what happens with the tape. Put the tape on. There it is. Use a lot of tape, masking tape, uh, but it does vary 
but this lot I bought three rolls of it for very cheap 50p 50 pence each in Asda that's uh, our version of Walmart so I'm going to get some more of that stock up on it well there we are so it's just a simple watercolour for you to be getting on with hope you like it I'll see you soon bye bye